Oh my God, I was on mute. I was asking you to start the class. You may say hello to your classmates. <laughs> Come on, you don't need to wait for me to speak. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Incredible. I wonder how would you do if you had a, I don't know, a new job and you have new co-workers and all of them speak English. What are you going to do, guys? That's really concerning. How do you break the eyes? Yeah, that will. <laughs> how do you say that last time in English? <laughs> don't say give shame. What? <laughs> Come on, how do you say hey, that? Anna, how are you? Hi. Hi, my name is Anna. How are you? I'm the new one here. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, the other person <laughs> will laugh as you too. <laughs> oh my god. Really, how do you say that pen in English? You pitiful, I think. You pitiful? Yeah, I think. Shame on me. Shame on you. I have heard shame on you. Shame on you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, shame on me. That if you're telling to yourself, right? Or what a shame. Mm. And what a shame. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's play that for a minute. Just to break the ice, to warm up. What other phrases you wonder? For example, me, I, when I was studying English, because I never went to a, an academy or anything, it's just uh, through the bachelor degree and then uh, the Camera de Comercio Industrial Salvador, you know, when I was studying the technician, let's say in the technical career, they used to teach us um, technical English. And the teacher said, um, how come? You I mean, have this pronunciation. <laughs> what? I guess they are asking you, how come you have? You no, no, no. No, yeah. he was he was teaching me oh, okay. that, that phrase and he did it in purpose because I was explaining him something. I was telling him about my family members and, and he was like, how come? I was like, 
uh, I don't know. I uh, can you repeat? <laughs> I just don't remember. Can you repeat? How come? I'm like, yeah, but what it, what does that mean? How come? I mean, like, mm -hmm. what do you mean, right? Como así, como así. That phrase. That's the meaning. I'm heading to home. I'm heading home, Fernando. I'm heading home. Uh, teacher, we can't hear you. Okay. Uh, now you can hear me. Okay, daughter. So, uh-huh. Other phrases. <laughs> that that should be one. Cool. Hey, oh, cool. you want us to look for, for those phrases? What's up, bro? <laughs> cool. <laughs> right? How do you say cool? Yeah, what's up? Hey, that, that's you... the no. most approximate yeah. translation, but always think about the right ways of the right way of saying mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. In your head, at least, mm -hmm. right? Because okay. you don't. I'm not going to say "q" to your boss, right? "Q." No, no, no. I'm. I'm not talking about being respectful or not. I'm just talking about when you want to translate something that you have always said, like "el volado," right? The thing. The thing. <laughs> Or Q boy, right? I mean, there's a way, there's a good way to say that. So think about common phrases that you use on a daily basis as real Salvadorian. Don't come up to me like, oh no, I tried to speak very properly, teacher. I'm not Salvadorian. I don't need frijoles. Come on. Okay. Think about common phrases so we can try to get this going. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Yep. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. He was driving. Yeah, I got, I got him. He's on the bus. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you for turning on the camera. That's very important. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Okay. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. I know, I know. Be careful. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. All right. Juan Miguel Brown Mejía. Not here yet. Luis Albert, Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. We got full house already. Thank you, guys. I know some of you may be working or going home. But for now, let's start with this. Warming up. Why? Because tonight's topic is, is just trying not to get confused with two verbs. I don't like that topic is too short to keep it going for two hours, don't you think? But still, you know, we can talk about many other verbs as we did before. What other verbs did we talk about before that you may get confused with? Right and race. I know that's those are the ones for today. <laughs> Sorry, uh, someone has uh, been reading the book ahead of time. Effect and effect. <laughs> yes, effective and effect. Do no wait. Affect and effect. Uh huh. Or effect, effect, effect and effect. effect. Either way, yeah. Yeah, the order of the avocados doesn't alter the guacamole. Anyways. So, uh huh. Come on, phrases. Come on. I can't believe you don't know any common phrase. Está haciendo norte. <laughs> How do you say está haciendo norte in English? It's windy. It's windy. So simple, you got it. Now you got my idea. 
Me duelen las canillas. Come on, guys. Translate. My knees are hurting. My knees are hurting. Or my knees hurt. Yeah, my knees are hurting. Uh-huh. Qué feo este volado. I'm very Salvadorian. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Uh, Ileana used that verb or that adjective. I'm sorry. Uh, yesterday went on our one on one. Uh, que feo este volado. You you taste a new food, right? That's when you use that in in El Salvador, right? Like when you taste carao. Oh my god. Uh huh. Would you say beverage? Yes, grau beverage. So how do you say cafe este volado? Come on, guys. We'll say this is ugly. Uh, ugly, and that's what I want to um, abort. Awful. 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 Exactly. Uh, okay. Awful. Awful. Mm -hmm. Ugly. I am ugly. Okay, oh. I'm ugly. It's an adjective, right? It's an adjective. Both are adjectives, but ugly is for people, for uh, a dog. Okay. Animals, you know, something, a, a living creature, let's say. It's ugly. Uh, you couldn't say the weather is ugly. It's awful. Okay. It's awful. A situation. When it is a situation, then you say awful, awful. Okay. Um, you could use it in certain circumstances, like um, you are always with your friend and he never, never gives money to the poor or to, how do you call the people asking for money on the streets? Um, are they homeless? What? Uh, hand, you say it hand. hand no, no, no. Uh, Gracia said something different, actually. I said panhandlers. Panhandlers. Panhand beggars? Like begging, right? Uh, beggars. 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 Mm -hmm. And it comes from begging. Right. Right. That's another one. I, I can tell if, yeah, it is what? 1G or 2? Beggars. I think this is the one. Correct me, Gracia. Uh -huh. And I said panhandlers. Panhandlers. In, in plural, right? Panhandler, panhandling, panhandlers. Okay. So you, your friend never gives money to the panhandlers, to the beggars on beggars on the street. I wouldn't say beggars that way because begging is with E, right? Be begging. Anyways. And so you go like, man, you're such a mean person. You're, uh, you're I'm sorry. It should be bigger. B e g a. Bigger. Thank bigger. you. Thank you. Bigger. So you just add an S to pluralize it. Bigger. Okay. Yeah, that's not coming for me. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So then you can say, man, you're such an awful person. You're such an awful person. You're such a such an awful human being. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's keep them going. Mm. Think about common things that you say. Well, something that we tend to say in El Salvador, estoy fregado. That's a common word in our daily words i guess right so how would you say that it's not a bad word it's just could be real uh-huh it's not used i heard that broke i'm i'm broke that's no. regarding money good that's that's talking about money ah, okay uh -huh. okay i'm broke when I was working at Dell, Ana Claudia, mm -hmm. th there was this girl who had just 
come to El Salvador to visit, but she stood for some reason for another year while she was waiting for her papers or something. I, I can't remember. <laughs> and once we were just joking, you know, playing, and, and she got upset with me and she said, oh, screw you, Rafa. And I was like, I was still learning in 2007, 2008. That's rude. That's rude. I know. But pay attention. What I heard was, screw you. So I said, okay, uh, give me a screwdriver. <laughs> and she was like, what? Give me a screwdriver so I can screw myself, right? I took it as a verb. And I never forget it. Because she sat... And she said, listen, this is an idiom for an offensive way of saying, you know. <laughs> you remember friends? You, remember, you just remember friends, right, William? <laughs> <laughs> I was so, man, I felt so stupid later because I was like, screwdriver. Okay, screwdriver, screw yourself. Okay. I know this is an offensive word. Be careful, but just so you get the context, does this has this ever happened to you? Someone says something in English, and you go like, you try to get the root word of what you heard, and it's not that. Okay. It's not that. So be careful. You may get confused. Reading is very important at this level because it gives you the context of the words. Okay. Okay, let's finish with one of your own. I have given all the ideas, so give me an idea of what you typically say in Sal in Salvadorian. I just thought another one. Chamuscado? What? Chamuscado? Oh my God, chamuscado. Uh-huh. I have no idea how to say it. That's <laughs> yes, that's the way. Tortillas are burned, <laughs> burned. Okay. Tortillas are burned. Okay, food is burned. I thought about another one and I forgot it. I just forgot it, but anyways, uh, there was another way of uh, saying that, but anyways, okay, so yeah, tonight is confusing words. Uh, for me, honestly, yes, this is a very interesting topic because homophones are like the first thing that your brain faces. Again, your brain will always try to create the illusion of you already know all these letters. So you cannot say English when it says English. It says English. I'm reading English. Oh, it's English. You got it? Uh, you cannot say I. It says a j a j. Right? Mm -hmm. Something very common on basic students is saying eyes. Uh, I'm sorry, A's. A's. I looked into his A's. It's eyes, right? For example. So this homophone sounds create the illusion of of, of sounding like another word, you know, and it's like, you, you get confused. Now, getting the writing of the words is only possible if you practice. So this topic is on page um, 29. Yeah, this is page 29. <laughs> and how to use confusing verbs. And this is race and rice. So again, race race you can even get confused with the noun of a competition right race god i'm not typing okay race and rice is in arroz 
Excellent. Yes. Rice as in arroz. 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 <laughs> rice. 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 Okay. This could be very confusing. So, and we're not talking about the meaning of these verbs. You should already know them, I guess. But take the pronunciation. The first one is race. 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 And the second one is rice. 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 And yes, it is the same pronunciation of race and rice. Race and rice. Just a minute. Hmm. My computer is giving me an error. Hopefully. These are hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay. Okay. Anyways, it wants to restart until five hours from now so that we're good. I have an update. So, help me. Use race or rice to express the idea of something going upwards. So, we're looking at the positional meaning of this too. Who can help me? Excellent. William, go for it. Okay. Um, yes. Use rice or race. <laughs> you didn't get it. Race or, or rice. rice. Uh -huh. Okay. Use race or rice to express the idea of something going upwards. Upwards, huh? Upwards. For example, the first race. one, use race. For an action that a person does to someone or something else, an object. Rice, something, plus. Raise. <laughs> oh my God. Raise. Oh yeah, raise your hand. Uh -huh. Raise plus something, uh, someone. Race has the form race. Raised and raised. Good job, William. Good pronunciation. Yes. Okay. That pleca, okay, that, that, no, slash, that's forward slash. That's forward slash, by the way. The one you have there is a forward slash. The one on the opposite hand, the one that nobody uses, is the backward slash. This is forward slash, backward slash. Okay. That means or. So race plus something or someone. someone. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, in the future, when you're reading something, the that sign, the forward slash means or. Okay, so move on. Um, Ana Claudia, help us. For many investors. Beautiful pronunciation. I just. Love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. Okay, sorry. For many investors, a project that can measure and prove its impact should not be given support to raise funds. <sighs> okay, to raise funds. Good job. What about the second one, Steve? If you, if R. <clears throat> If your beneficiaries are able to rise, to raise, <laughs> to raise their incomes after our intervention in, is over, we can say our impact was effective. Impact. Do it again. Okay. If our beneficiaries, beneficiaries, are able to raise their incomes after our intervention is over. We can say our impact was effective. Very, better, a lot better. Just one thing, guys. This guy here reads as an R, very close. If R, if R, 
R, R. if our beneficiaries are able to raise their incomes after intervention is over, we can say our impact was effective. Good, raise their incomes. Okay, be careful with the context. Let's move on with this part. Uh, David is feeling not good still. And though you are the only ones that I have in the class, I can tell I have William, Steve, Gracia, Ana Claudia, and David. Then the others are busy or working with their camera off. So I don't know if I should call them by their names. Dora, Jose Spin, Darwin. I know Jose Wilfred is working, but it's okay. Dora, if you can help us with this section, use rice. Use rice for an action, action that a person does by oneself. Unlike face, rice does not require an object. Okay, unlike race, rice does not require an object. Again, use rice for an action that a person does by oneself. Hmm, you... By oneself, by itself. Yeah, go ahead. Use Christ for an action that a person does by oneself. Perfect job. Unlike raise, rise does not require an object. Okay, continue, Dora. Rise. Rise has the form freeze throws freezer. <laughs> okay, this was difficult for me when I was learning too. You say rise, rose. Uh huh, rose. Reason. You say reason. Reason. Let let me show you reason. 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 Don't trust me. Reason. Oh my God. Where's the S? Reason. 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 You heard? Reason. reason. Don't forget about Juglish, guys. If you have any doubts, go to Juglish. That's very useful. Okay. Uh, as an example, Gracia. Uh, the number of social entrepreneurs who fail to measure their impact has risen in the last three years in the U.S. Okay, and the second one. And to to measure both the, both the desired changes and demonstrate that they are caused by the interventions of impact entrepreneurs is rising. Rising. I like that word for some reason, rising, rising sun. I think there's a name, there's a song called Rising Song. Or is it a movie? I can't remember. Anyways, so thank you. In their use as a noun, both race and rice make reference to an increase in salary. Hmm. Race is standard in American English, while rice is used in British English. Hmm. So you may hear a British person saying, you should get a rice. You should get a rice. Again, we're talking about nouns. In a, and an American, an American should say, you should get a race. Hey, that's a good example. You should get a rice. You should get a rice. You should get a rice. That should fit you. Okay. So what are we going to do right now? I need you to do something very easy so we can all be on the same page with this short topic. Um, we do have some examples, but we're going to do them later. Let me check the lesson plan really quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's later. Okay, so first, I need you in small groups, in breakout rooms, to create two and two. So one by one. Let's say you use race as a verb and as a noun. There you have two. And then you use rise as a verb and as a noun. So it's a total of four sentences, and that's it. Shall we? Challenge accepted. 
Okay. We will have only 15 minutes so we can come back. I do the presentation, then we do the other exercise six on page 29, and then we go with the presentations. We're just doing time to a few of you. Okay, so let's go. Again, four sentences. Easy. Piece of cake, let's go. Okay, let's go guys, don't stay in this room. Everybody, please accept the invitation. Uh, Ray? Yeah. Okay, let me... Would you like me to make a board or just share my okay? My, a board is okay so that yeah. everybody can edit. it. Okay. So, do we start with Ray as a now? As a now, I got a, one example. For example, he stood backstage nervously awaiting the race. The race. The race. Race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm always confusing. Would you, you, could you repeat it, please? Okay. Um, <laughs> you both. I can type. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know if he's moving. What? What's going on with the glitter? Ah. Okay, so then do we go with right? Talking to myself, oh, 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 talking to myself. Wow. I know. Ileana is working. Who's just mean, I guess it's working. And Wendy, I don't know. So I'll move you to another group. Don't worry, okay? Okay, teacher. No problem. This is or an action that a person does by oneself. Uh-huh. So you rise, you said, I rise my arm. Uh, I rise my arms uh -huh. when yeah, I, I stay in on the bus. Bus station. 
Mm -hmm. I and the rice, but we are using rice, right? Yeah. R I S E. Uh huh. Okay. No. No. Rice. Ah, for yeah, because uh, it's an action for someone or something, something else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I raise my arms. My arms. Okay. I raise my arms at the bus. Yes. To make the bus stop or something like that. Yes. To make the bus. Wait. Hey, hello. Hello. I was uh, looking yeah. for. Mm -hmm. For sentences. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Dora just gave me one. Uh, oh. I raise my arms to make the bus to stop using raise. Uh, raise. Uh huh. And. Uh uh. uh. Uh, you, uh -huh, the other one rise I can say race mm -hmm. there there are different uh, there are different views about race and to call it money to improve to mention something uh, so people will dif discuss it uh, to breed up a child and to breed and take care of animals. And rice or race? Race. Ah, oh, okay, for funds, like uh, we, I can say, I will raise a campaign for, the cat Rice. shelter. Rice. I I will raise uh, food. Right. I will uh, uh, I will we say we raise a uh, a food campaign for the cat shelter. Let me try. Race using races make something to increase, right? Yes, to increase amount of of something. For example, the the government has raised the income tax rate to for everyone. I'm going to re to write <laughs> uh -huh. on chat. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to write one, two. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, I I have this other one. Mm -hmm. Uh, but using rice and to use rice, see, rice it says for an action that a person does by oneself. Rice does not require an object, so. And you see, because we need to use it as a noun and we need to use it. Mm. Using race as a noun, how can be the, the example? Mm -hmm. 
both are referencing to increasing salary. Mm -hmm. uh, my boss salary raised. No, no, no. It's not necessary to say salary. No. My boss incomes raised fifty uh, percent this year. I guess as a noun that would right. Or a noun. The face, for for example, um. Um, the mayor uh, in in Mexicanos raises the taxes. Okay, the 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 fourth sentence is the same bear of the number three. Race and reason is the same bear. This is in participle, I think, or is the same of the first and the second. Um, the first and the third one uh, use raise, and the second and the fourth one use right. Uh, okay, yes, yes, I got it. It's a complement. Uh -huh. Yes, A C D C. No, <laughs> A C B D. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. Okay. They are not in order, but <laughs> yes, I get it. <laughs> I, I I only can see with an, an eye, and this is my my weak eye. I I have difficulties to read with the left eye. The right I see better, but it hurt me. Did, did you have an operation? Uh, what? Did you have an operation? A surgery? No, 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 no. It's only a, a vessel that exploded. Oh. I know how to say that. A little vessel of my eye. Mm. And it's uh, because of the hypertension. Mm. Okay. I taking some pills that made me asleep. I always I have half of the brain. I this time I have a, a fourth of the brain <laughs> because that pill relaxed me to avoid more problems and mm. I am very relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're relaxed. <laughs> Then you should raise your hand because you're happy. <laughs> yes, sorry for the dog. There are one dog in my house and three dogs in the house of the front. And <laughs> when one is a start, hey Francisco, what's up? So, hello, teacher. I have problem with my internet connection, teacher. Oh, is my my device. <laughs> okay, I saw your raised uh, your hand raised. So I saw your hand raised, so I was wondering. It's okay. I don't know why, but it hasn't rained here. It has been really hot today. And they say whenever it is hot, the weather is hot is because it's gonna rain. I don't know if that's true or not or what. Okay. So uh, let me see your examples. 
you can put it on the chat if you want, or shall we go team by team? It's up to you. Steve says the government has raised the income tax rate for everyone. Okay, give me your examples. You know what? I'm going to do what someone just taught me doing a few days ago. Let's see. Okay. 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 This is David's team. Let's see. Now, read it and then let the class know. Or everybody else not on David's team, please let us know. Is it a verb or a noun? The way they use the word we're studying tonight. So go ahead. Read the first one, David. And everybody else not from David's team should guess if it is a verb or a noun. He still but stays nervously awaiting the, the, the rise of the curtain. Okay, everybody else, he stood backstage nervously awaiting the rise of the curtain. Is there, are we using rise as a verb or as a noun on this sentence? As a noun. And your intention was, David, Gracia, William, I think. Gracia was the brain behind this sentence. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> isn't a Claudia right? Is it a noun or a verb? It's uh, a verb. A verb? No, it's a yes. noun. It's a noun. Yeah, William gave yeah. us that sentence. William, they're blaming you. Yeah, it's a noun. <laughs> it's a noun. Yes. It's, yes. Deposition. Number two, you cannot use an article before a verb. Yes. Yes. Right. So, mm, good job. Okay, Anna Claudia, we're right. Let's go with the second sentence. Somebody else from the group? Let's not force David's eyes. He saw a car coming over the top of the right. He saw a car coming over the top of the rise. Huh. Okay, everybody, is that a verb or a noun? I, I, what were I right wrong? The, 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 first, the first sentence should, be, should have been awaiting the race of the curtain. Sorry. Mm hmm This is in that way? Mm hmm Yeah. Ah, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, so the second sentence, guys. He saw a car coming over the top of the rice. <clears throat> Is it a noun or a verb? Um, Steve, Dora. Okay, it's a noun. Now, what's the meaning of this sentence? What what meaning were you given to rise in this context? Um, <clears throat> Gracias, William, David. This is top of something, the upper part. I talking to Grace like a hero. He saw a car coming over the top of the rise. Yeah, the rise is La Cima, like yeah. a hill. La Alza? Uh huh. No, 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 yeah. Translated. Okay. La subida. Hmm. 
I got it. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with number three. Raise your hand if you're happy. Is that a verb or a noun? Is a raise your hand. Hmm? It's a verb. It is a verb. Don't doubt it. And that's an imperative sentence. Is an is an order. Raise your hand if you're happy. Order. Okay. And the last one, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. It's a bird. No, no, no. This is this is risen. Let's see who is bird to be and bird to be and Reason. Now that's the past participle of the verb. Yes, it is a verb. Would you correct something on that sentence? I, I was talking to let's say we need a, a auxiliary verb. Like has mm. has uh, risen from the has, dead. Has risen. Has risen. Okay, se ha levantado de la muerte. Yes. Okay. Has risen from dead. That's an option. Yes. Was risen from dead. Mm -hmm. Was. How do you call that? It's not a grammar tense, and it should be. It should be a grammar tense, but I don't know why they didn't do it. The passive voice. Remember. Yes. Passive voice. Okay, so yes. was or where plus the past participle of a verb is always that way. Jesus Christ was risen from the dead. So both are valid. You can say has risen from the dead, was risen from the dead. It all depends on the context, right? If you want to say that that happened, that mm -hmm. is a, if you use has, it's more like it's true, you know, that that's true. Now, question, can you use is? Sorry? Can you use is the way you had written it? I, I hear in that way, in a song, in a song that they use. Yes, yes, you can yeah. use it because that's like given the sense of present. Affirmation. Is an affirmation that right now, that's true still. It is true still, he's still alive. So, yeah, you can use it. Okay, grammatically incorrect, but Sorry. realistically, realistically real. <laughs> okay, so next, Ana Claudia, of course. We didn't copy all of them. Oh my God. We just had <laughs> did you copy Dora or, or Steve? No. no. There are two there, teacher. One that I sent and the other one that Steve. Oh yeah, I, I read them, right? Yes. Yes, I read them. I'm sorry. And there is one for Dora that she mentioned at the beginning. If you grab it, Dora. Uh, I have one that you sent. I will write I will raise a campaign for the cat shelter. Mm -hmm. Let me send I, it to everybody. I didn't write right, but uh, for example, in the mayors in Mexicanos raise the taxes. Taxes. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That's what Steve mm -hmm. uh, sent for for from you for you the government has raised the income tax rate for everyone but she mentioned i raised my arm to make the bus to stop to make the bus stop the bus to stop the, to, I make, to make to make the bus stop to stop mm -hmm. to stop the bus to make the bus stop ah, ah okay to force the bus to stop, to force the bus to stop, to okay, make the bus stop. 
Uh -huh. um, I will raise a campaign for the cat shelter. What would you correct in that sentence, everybody else? I will raise a campaign for the cat shelter. Let's see, advanced six. What can you correct in that sentence? I will raise a campaign for the cat shelter. I will raise money for the cat shelter. You could add more words, yes. Now remember that raise is very, uh, it refers very often to money, to an increase of money, as, as we increase said at the, mm -hmm. at the bottom of the lecturing on your book. That is why I didn't want to write, I will raise a money campaign because mm. it's redundant. But I'll give you the, the most appropriate one. It should have been, I will do a Fun, oh, fun, I was fun about to try that too. <laughs> fundraiser. Fundraising. Okay. We'll do a fundraiser. Oh, okay. A fundraiser. But campaign, a fundraiser. No, it's just a fundraiser. You cannot say a fundraiser campaign. Okay. That sounds like for uh, the cat redundant. Now, that part for the cat shelter. For the shelters, cat. Mm. No, for the cat shelters. For the cat shelters. So okay. Should... If it is in context with the people you're talking about or is an interview and you already discuss the name of the cat shelter and where it is located and all the details. So it is in the context. You can say the cat shelter. But if it is not on the context for a cat shelter mm. in general okay. you know, for a cat shelter okay for the cat shelter that we're building on Mexicanos, in Indiana for example for the cat shelter in Texas something like that in other words you use the to be more specific very okay. specific um, okay. and when you generalize you either use an article a or an or okay. no no article at all okay. Elef elephants are gray i'm sorry elephants are gray or the elephants i know are gray mm. good that, that's very basic but it tends to happen a lot on advance i don't know why okay. thank you yeah and the second one is good for me okay so that was part a of today's lesson uh, since we are not too many our Raise your hand. Raise your hand oh, if you're that's... if you're ready if you're ready to do the presentation. No. Really, no, David? Yes. Really. Gracias. Yes. Uh, Gracias. William David. Jose and I. Yes. Excellent, William Jose and I. Don't say I, Jose and William. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. How do you say that? El burro por delante in English. <laughs> that's another hey. one. Where are you guys? Um, I, I, I remember something in the Shrek, the, the movie, something like that. But I don't remember the Shrek. 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 Shrek in the first line. <laughs> no, it's not Shrek. Is it? Yeah. yeah, that's Shrek. No, but the name of the, oh, the donkey? donkey. The donkey, yeah. No, I don't remember. Burr. His name was Burr. Okay. <laughs> Thank you on the first line. No, his name is Eugenio, anyways. Thank you first. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the first group was composed by Anna, Claudia, Jose, Wilfredo, and William. Okay, hmm. and Wendy, of course. Uh, the I'm sorry, that was group, that was group number two. No, 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 no. That was the number two. Let me back go backwards here. Group number one: David, Francisco, Gracia, Ileana, and Jarvin. Group number two, Ana Claudia, Jose Wilfredo, Wendy, and William. Yeah, but Wendy was not joined. She didn't join. Uh, and the last group was Fernando and Luis. I mean, Steve, sorry. Fernando and Steve. Mm -hmm. And Fernando is here. I saw him, yeah. I don't know if he's home already and he will participate. So, the donkey head, the donkey head. <laughs> the donkey up front, the donkey head. So let's keep going. 
Okay, so would you like to do the presentations now? And if there's time, we do the other exercise on your workbook. Mm -hmm. Can you start with the presentation? I don't know if Iliana. She's working. She apologized. Um, she uh, said she won't be here with us tonight because she's very busy, but it's okay. She's here, but as a listener. So don't talk about Ilania, Iliana. We don't talk about Bruno, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't talk about Liliana. Let's keep going. Okay. okay. So group number one again. Maybe Go. we'll be waiting for for Liliana because he is she is uh no she said she said she wanted to participate because she enjoyed preparing the presentation with you guys, but she's very busy because her boss is but visiting. Her boss is busy, and so she's really mm. tremendously busy right now. So don't worry, don't worry. I know you can handle this. Uh, Gracia, David, Francisco, and Jarvin. So all yours. What was the topic again? Uh, okay, we are talking about uh, uh, a company uh, uh, in the... The first part is uh, the company that uh, social entrepreneur, but uh, we can fi find something like that. And we work with uh, IKEA and we compare, compare IKEA with uh, Bam Bam. That was our, our work. Okay, antes de que comience David a explicar la presentación, y perdón que lo diga en español, pero para que quede claro para todos los demás que no pertenecen a este grupo, les reto, señores, a que identifiquen áreas de oportunidad en lo que sus compañeros van a decir. Y lo vayan escribiendo en el chat de Zoom. Por ejemplo, we couldn't find something. Couldn't okay. find, yes. We're talking in past, so we couldn't find something. So si identificas una oración que mm, tenía que ser en pasado, por ejemplo, just text it on the Zoom chat. Let's see how advanced you are, guys. This will help you identifying grammar areas of improvement, okay? Everybody, let's pay attention to this group. Thank you. You may go. Okay, I, I ask to, to raise to a start, please. Okay, sure. So uh, we are going to talk about IKEA. I don't know if you have heard of it or if you have seen uh, the memes <laughs> about IKEA. And the interesting thing about IKEA is uh, the the person who founded it, uh, from child entrepreneur to IKEA founder, the story of in Ingvar Kamprup, uh, early years. If you could please go to the next one. So we're going to have a little summary. Uh, then maybe David can tell us about the variables that they face on local BS businesses and the similarities with uh, Bamban, as David mentioned before. Regarding the summary, uh, like most entrepreneurs, Ingvar Kampak Vision started with a spark, lots of them actually. In 1931, the five-year-old began selling matches, an essential item in every home. So how did a boy from Swedish, Swedish countryside become a teenage founder of a global enterprise? Well, the circumstances that made a smart kid smarter, uh, he did things differently from the very start. Instead of selling just matches for pennies, he he should have been working hard on his father's family in El, El sorry. Uh, but it was depression, so poverty was widespread. And actually, people queued for full jobs and for everything, including uh, kids. So he understood that his family's hardship and wanted to help. But rather than going from poor, course, he focused on helping the family finances. Whether or not his small contributions made a difference, his family did the unconventional, supported their little much selling entrepreneur. And the feature of IKEA's founder's first customer was his father's mother. In 1943, 
um, it, uh, the company was founded in the 48. Uh, the furniture was introduced to IKEA. And in 1950, uh, the catalog of IKEA made its first debut. In 1960, uh, 10 years after the first catalog, uh, the first IKEA restaurant op opened. And in 1973, they went uh, all over Europe. And in three years later, uh, he put uh, ink bar but spent paper. And then in the early uh, 1980s, a new suitable owner structure is created, as we know it. In 2014, the first life at home report was made. And in 2015, uh, all in all, uh, all in left. Okay, like emission diode. Variables, this is a, a important part of the representation, what variable, what is important for the transition from the startups to a, a, a bigger company. And uh, what's the variable? The, the first variable, the most important was the, the business model that uh, is not of the engineering company doing the, the business. They start a new, a new strategy and uh, uh, they become, become, or became, become, I love it, they furniture, yeah, yeah, and they, they start selling uh, their product by catalog in the time with the, uh, nobody think in selling furniture in, in catalog, but uh, the people sell shoes or, or clothes or, or uh, another thing, but not, uh, not furniture, and uh, they not only sell furniture, but they uh, sell quality. And uh, another uh, variable important was the prices. They work with low prices, and uh, the fruit was a symbol of uh, high quality and uh, low prices, and for that reason, they it could be successful uh, despite the opposition from another produce the same product that they and uh, uh, another variable was the the ability of IKEA to make a difference uh, with the, the product to the other product in the market and for that reason they could grow uh, at the level that they uh, which uh, I think that uh, we are talking yesterday that uh, not not uh, is not like uh, somebody think this is the time. I, I think that all of the factors and the division of the person in church and give them the opportunity to to scale to go for. for more uh, something like a, a, a internal vision, something like a, the instinct of the person can uh, give them the, the 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 vision to do the next step. The combination of the factor along with the company's dedication. Furniture tables. Uh, in El Salvador, uh, Bambang, who was <laughs> Dr. Bambang? Oh, let's continue with Grace. Okay. So Bamban, well, we all know it. Uh, we have, I, I, I suppose, everybody has also tasted Bamban 
uh, pastry and since its foundation, uh, Batman has been undeniably growing thanks to the participation of an excellent group of collabor collaborators, including Flor de Maria Ibarra and Roberto Ibarra, who are the sons of Mr. Mrs. Lobato de Ibarra, who was the uh, who performed the management of production and marketing and finance respectively. Positions that incorporate new visions for the growth of the company. And uh, the pastry shop presented the need to improve the organization and use uh, plant spaces. Uh, they saw this uh, opportunity and they took it as well as the uh, production process. They uh, improved their production process and the review and incorporation of new formulations uh, so that they can increase their pro productivity. Also, uh, in the meantime, they reduced uh, time and cost and improved the quality of some of their products. Today, Ban Ban has already 18 branches nationwide and being the most recognized and famous pastry shop in El Salvador. Okay, uh, there are many similarities similarities. I don't know how to say that word, similarities. In you, you were right the first time, similarities. Similarities, okay, thank you, teacher. And uh, uh, between uh, IKEA and um, Bamban, and uh, this was the, the, the key points. Low prices for good quality products, innovative ideas to reduce production costs and time, expansion to new markets when the time is right or when the time was right and a good marketing strategy. So always I go to my to my job in the morning. I see an Bamban ad in the street. And always I have a I want some bread. And that's all. Thank you. Questions? Bread? <laughs> Somebody wants bread or, <laughs> or yeah, a furniture? <laughs> or a furniture for IKEA? <laughs> the teacher is a mute. Mute? Yes, thank you. Uh, sorry, do you have any observations, any opinions? Um, I thought they were going to give us samples from Bamban Bam Pastry, but you know. <laughs> yeah. they, they just my town. They are they, 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 they just faxed they just faxed a piece of bread here. <laughs> okay. So any any opinions or have you heard? Have you heard? about these companies, is IKEA in El Salvador? It was, but... Uh, no but, pegó. Uh, yes. <laughs> How do you say no pegó in English? <laughs> they, didn't, uh, they didn't feed? It didn't be. Be. It didn't Maybe. ramp? They didn't what, Anna? Ramp? Ramp? Ramp. They didn't ramp, okay. Because you need to you need to assemble uh, the, the the furniture, and we don't like that. <laughs> Wait, we want I'm lost. I'm story. lost about that part. Do they sell refurbished furniture that they just rebuild, renewed, or is it the, the day they say new? They sell new uh, furniture. Furniture, but uh, they put in a in a box something like that and you need to, to... assemble it yes yes that is in the all of the the europe european people like that and the uh, american people like that but uh, salvadorian people don't like that we are lazy <laughs> yes you know what i unfortunately i cannot show you my living room but <laughs> um we I don't know if I already told you this story, but we won we won a raffle. Did I tell you about it? About the raffle in Cuscatlan Bank? No? No? 
last year, uh, my wife, well, we, we, we have always been, uh, you know, members of Banco Jujatlan. And last year we were complaining a lot that we, our refrigerator or fridge went bad, went bad, was going bad. It was going to die at any given minute. The washing machine went bad. We had no TV. The TV was failing as well. Man, it was a whole mess. And we didn't have a living room. We didn't have a sofa to sit. So can you imagine that? The thing is that we started on uh, doing something at church. And they asked us to start praying at 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to be free openly with this with you because this is amazing. At 3 a.m., we had to wake up every day, every day, every day at 3 a.m. It's called incomodar al Señor, right? So we started praying and praying. And my wife always was like, okay, you know what we need. If you want to give us something, it's up to you. Whatever you want to give us, you know what we need. For two weeks, and they called her from La Exa, El Turrón. And <laughs> And he was like, hey, you know what? You just won $5,000 to go and buy whatever you need at Multiplaza, and you have 30 minutes to choose whatever items you want. And we're like, nah. No, really, don't hang up. Wait, 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 wait. It was true. So up until today, I just can't believe it. You know, she started crying. I, I cried that morning because I couldn't believe it. Because I felt like when you ask your dad or your mom something and they go like, oh, yes, you need this. Okay, here it is. Like that. And I said, you know what? God is pampering you right now. <laughs> you know what's pamper someone, right? To pamper someone. Man. So the thing is that we got, we selected that um, unit. I don't know how to call it. It's a piece of furniture to put the 55 inches TV that we selected to from La Curacao. And I put it, we put it together. We took like three hours to put that thing together with all the screws and, <laughs> oh my God. So yes, Americans, David is right. Americans enjoy, love re rebuilding cars, rebuilding stuff, you know, on their own. We don't, we don't. We better pay someone to do it, but most Salvadorians are not that way. Okay, so they do that, bam, bam. I disagree with one thing. Bam, bam, prices are not cheap anymore. But it's yeah. in Salvador. <laughs> it's what? In yeah. What? Yeah. Yes, really? Because, yeah, you know. And I it's good go that, that they charge more to San Salvador people. <laughs> oh, my God. That discrimination right there. That's the discrimination. But here, you can still purchase the bread for 25 cents or 35 cents. <gasps> How dare you? And the relampagos? Uh, I guess those 75 cents, I guess. I don't remember. Oh I don't like the What? Do you like the yeah. I don't know. And, and Bam Bam have a, a girl that uh, when you go into the, the restaurant, mm -hmm. all, all of the men, all of the men, sorry, the, this girl said, Bienvenido, muñeco. Oh, really? <laughs> it is a famous girl in Santana. I don't know if, if, if she's mm -hmm. still there, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's like famous. You're, oh, okay. I, I know about the name. They named Bam Bam because of Pedro Picapiedra's son. Uh, and, and I'm, I'm sorry, wait, Pablo's son. Pablo's son. Yeah, that, that's, that's a gossip. It's not Pedro's son. Okay, be careful. No, it's just Pablo's. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, their very beginning is a little sad because uh, the husband of the lady, the owner, mm -hmm. uh, he was killed when all the war, civil war was uh, in the... I, how can I say in the in the in the worst stage? Uh -huh. So he was killed when he was going out from the. Just they just have one had one a uh, restaurant, the one for, no one bakery. Oh, oh, bakery. I'm sorry. It was close to a school, right? La Esperanza. 
Uh -huh, uh -huh. We, no, but there it was a restaurant at the time. It was a was restaurant. Yes, it's true. Exactly. So and they just, I guess th that one and the other one, like some blobs, uh, on the other uh -huh. location. And he was killed with another, uh, another man. They were because uh, all at that time there was like a war tax, and so they they, you know, guerrilla. I don't know if it's correct to say guerrilla. <laughs> No, the, the the terrorists they were the gorilla, they, yes. Yeah, the gorilla, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. The terrorists they were extort extorting is correct to say extorting? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, extorting entrepreneurs and people who has a company or they had employees. So I guess the situation was something like the, the money situation, and if they didn't pay, they kill. So that oh my was god. Happening. Uh -huh. And they were about to close, but then she fight a lot, and she she's a she brave struggle woman. a lot. Yeah, to, and to, she's a brave woman for me. She, take the business and, support. Exactly. Awesome. That's a great example of an entrepreneurship that mm -hmm. went through a lot. Mm -hmm. They went through a lot. That that sounds like a better example. That's good. But IKEA, I mean, is what is interesting is finding out that a kid may have grown. And become a, a great entrepreneur or businessman. Okay, who's next? Thank you, guys. That was really amazing. Um, while the other group prepares the presentation, you may start presenting. Uh, the second group. Uh, we said we couldn't find something that's in past strategy. Strategy. Cada vez que una T está entre dos vocales, imagínate que es una R. Okay, strategy. Strategy. They became. Yeah, you corrected yourself, David. Good. Is that they become? No, they became. Um, nobody thinking and selling furniture. Nobody was thinking. Another variable important. Another important variable. Hey, okay, nice. Okay. Another important variable. We are talking yesterday. We were talking about this yesterday. And the last word, innovative. Innovative. innovative, innovative, yes. Good, innovative. you got it. Good job. Let's pay attention to the second group with William cell phone and slow <laughs> hey, you're motion. There. Yeah, I know you. There. You're famous. It's in slow motion. <laughs> okay. Whenever you're ready, David, go. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, William. <laughs> William, uh -huh. we just need have to say, teacher, that uh, we were working with Jose also, but. Right now he's driving, but we were working the three of us on this. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, skating a social business. We are talking about Air Airbnb. Uh, the social business mission it is uh, to offer visitors a place to sleep and breakfast in the morning, and uh, all the all the services, all the product. Yeah, the services they what they offer is um, the the houses with the, all the equipment, and you can go and do and sleep and or do something a lot of things and take a rest and sleep and in this this kind of Airbnb. And when did the scaling happen? It was in January 2009. And the incubator invites the three founders to join its winter session for three months of training. At the same time, Paul Graham at Combiners tries to convince venture capitalist Fred Wilson to invest in Airbnb. Anna Claudia, please. Yes, uh, this is experience that also is written on the books because these guys, the venture, and it brought uh, our attention that they, with what we found in the founder's history is that they were looking for credits. They were uh, with a lot of debts on their credit cards and they were looking for also venture credits and as we studied before venture credits is not a like a 
uh, something that you can trust because uh, or the vendor one uh, the one who is going to provide the credit and uh, it was surprising for us that this man after well till now he regrets not to be part of this project because he thought it wasn't a, a good project. And, and what these uh, guys made, the founders, is that they were looking for uh, spaces for people where they can just stay and sleep one night and then they got breakfast as an addition. And that idea came because they pass like uh, situations like that while they were studying or traveling or working, uh, mostly in New York. And what happened is that they invite other people, owners of houses or apartments that they can share part of their space for people, for errands, for people that is just staying one night. And at the very beginning, nobody was investing on them. And the way how they overcome at the very beginning is selling cereals, selling whatever they had on their hands. And one thing that happened, that was a brilliant idea. What happened is that they needed to improve the marketing strategy because they created like a photo album where people were showing, oh, this is the space where you are going to stay here in, in this area. Here is the other one and the other one. But they realized people were, people wasn't taking good pictures. So they bought a good camera and they stayed one by in one day in each um, A or B and D space. They got as with their associated and they took better pictures and that is how they started making the marketing by themselves. So the awesome thing or the strategy of this company is that they um, uh, put the market online. So this made this option accessible for anyone who has data in a mobile phone or a computer, and they needed to just stay or pass one night on a place, not looking for the hotels, the non-hotels at that time. William? Okay, talking about the beneficiaries, uh, both the host and the housekeeper owner and the focus is changed from shared space to all types of accommodation. And Anna Claudia, please. <laughs> yeah, as we were talking, they, they found barriers to scale, uh, to find investors from the very beginning. Uh, as we mentioned before, ah, they were looking. I'm sorry. For <laughs> investors. Thank you, William. <laughs> 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 but no one helped us. That, that is amazing because they um, grew up by themselves. Uh, the marketing strategy they implement, they discovered that the main problem is the pictures of most listing uh, weren't good. And as I mentioned before, they bought a, bought a good camera and went door to door to take better pictures of the listing places. They That same strategy for taking better pictures also uh, helped them to meet their users face to face. And mm -hmm. uh, talking about the last one, uh, regarding to if is there any social business or project in our city that has been scaled, uh, we took the example for another Santa Neque company, El Sin Rival. <laughs> um, this comp well, now you know what Sin Rival is. Uh, El Sin Rival is a, a handmade ice cream uh, fabric company. Uh, at the very beginning, it was just the father with a lot of children. 
and he was selling uh, his delicious and instilled del a delicious formula. So this man began sell by selling the honey sorbet in a cart on the street. And that is the way how uh, he provided education and raised his uh, children, right? So there were two of them that they studied and they made different things. And one of them started with um, a little the company. I don't know if it's correct to say that. <laughs> and okay, the licensing company. But also he thought out of the box and that is how they made or they rent the first place to make accessible for all of us to go and buy your signature. Because, you know, all the here in this town, you always had to know where and the time where the men with the, with the uh, a card would be on the street. And you already knew that there was in this park, Santa Lucia, there is another one here. And you needed to look for them and sometimes run, hey, wait for me, because they were on the street. The idea of this young man was to just um, open a store. And it was amazing. People was, wow, now I can go anytime I want. And, and that is how they began to, to scale. And that is why we brought this company as an example, because they uh, not only set it up, set it, settle in a local uh, offering the service they now have like around seven or six uh, if we count the ones in the capital and here's the other in Santana so what we were discussing yesterday is that they are helping the economy economy of the owners and employees of a other because they also Teach to others how to make the handmade sorbet. The the impact is that now, like uh, three or four months ago, there is another company. There is the the competitors. Let's name it in that way. The name of the other companies is El Rival because they consider they are El Rival. There's of Sin Rival. <laughs> it's a mixture of words. Is working for all of them because here in Santana we love the handmade sorbet. So at the end, um, we found the similarities with uh, both company because they started from the scratch. Uh, they didn't know how to build or create a business. They learned on their own experience and the strategies they also create they impacted because people for the founders for airbnb at the same time they were they uh, they uh, found the necessity of bringing people to the viewers to the possible customers or the, to look offer good pictures but at the same time uh, they were meeting face to face to the owners of these spaces now airbnb is a big company they are not only offer uh, a room for someone they offer houses they offer uh, different type of buildings where you can stay and they are very well equipment and the same happened with this other company for handmade uh, survey they right. had the, the same Okay. That's it, sir. Well, okay. That was good, actually. Um, finding out where is the Sin Rival here in San Salvador. And yes, they are in the San Benito. So that must be very expensive. Again, yeah, but, but we Salvadorians, we Salvadorians deserve the highest prices for of everything. Of course. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> So oh the supermarket has, I don't know that it's a crazy strategy. Why I'm going to sell you something with a higher price just because you're living 
this or this place. Oh, come mm -hmm. on. It's a crazy. It's a crazy thing. It's a crazy mm -hmm. world. Okay, I have some feedback for you in the chat. If you have been reading um, um, for you two, 2009, be careful, it's 2009, nine, 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 where they can stay and sleep for one, nine, one night. Right. At this point, final sounds on every word that you say must be right. Final sounds on every word you mention. Nobody was investing or founding them nor founding them mm, so okay. neither neither this was happening or the other things so no, okay uh -huh. people wasn't talking i'm sorry people wasn't taking good pictures people, people weren't, weren't taking. taking good pictures in this case you can use was or where it's up to you when you use people don't believe me watch cnn <laughs> Really? Yeah, really. I, I I learned that from watching CNN in English because they, they did that many times when I was addicted to their news for some reason. Mm. Um, and I noticed they were saying there, there were people standing outside the Empire State when this happened. And then they said there was people standing outside. It. So is it a was or were? It's okay. Okay. And I used to say was is informal. Where is formal? Mm, okay. okay. Pass one night spend, spend. when you spend yeah. time in a hotel. Yeah. yeah. Um. They bought. They bought a good camera. Okay. They bought a new camera. A good uh, camera. They bought a good camera. They bought a, a good. They bought a good camera. They bought a good camera. They bought a good camera. Mm -hmm. I bought a good camera. Help them meet. Mm, help help them, them meet. Help them to meet. Uh, help them meet something. Okay. They rent. They they rent the first place. They rented. They rented. You were trying to use past. Uh, they reach to others. I'm sorry. They teach to others how to. Mm, they teach others. Okay. They teach others how to do 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 do. They are not only offer. They are not only offering. They are not only offering. Interesting. Okay, so we have el sin rival and then we have el rival. That's right. El rival del sin rival. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Salvadorian, right? And how do we name the business? Uh, well, there is someone who says they don't have a rival. Mm -hmm. So we will be the rival. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good, actually. Um, uh, you, um, how do you say this? You said a parallel thing. What was the first company you were talking about? Airbnb. Airbnb. What's the meaning of Airbnb? William is. I don't remember. No, wait. Somebody not not from the group. Guys, Francisco, Steve. Gracias, someone else. Do you know what's the meaning of Airbnb? Airbnb and um, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Air? Airbed. And breakfast. And breakfast. Air, bed, and breakfast. So that, that's all you need, right, to start an Airbnb. Air conditioning, a good bed, and, and a good breakfast. breakfast. Okay, sounds like a plan. Now, interesting that that business model is very useful. If I think about it, at church uh, recently, this coming Friday, we have a a group of I think sixteen people because uh, a priest is ordering. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. So all his family is from Guatemala, and they're coming to El Salvador to stay with him on Saturday, which is when he's ordering at the at the at the oh my god how do you call this uh booking the cathedral place? at the cathedral he's he's becoming a priest uh, finally so his the whole ritual and everything the thing is that all his family is coming and they ask us to shelter to mm -hmm. shelter as many as we could so if you could shelter one or two give them food and everything that brought brought me back to this this topic airbnb 
providing shelter to someone. And when you travel to other countries, uh, you can ask any person, you know, to give you shelter. But in at, at, at church, what we do is that if, for example, if we go to Spain, which is the strongest country where the church is, um, they, the family who will give you shelter, they receive you and they give you the keys. Oh. So here's our house and their fridge is full of food and just go ahead and meet the place. We will be back in three days. Okay. Mm. You're in your house. Awesome. <laughs> that's, that's so... It's something like Airbnb because I haven't tried before. Yeah, the but Airbnb. we pay nothing. <laughs> no, it's almost. I say it's almost because you use a space for someone else. Yes, I mean, it's already and it's all equipped, furniture equipped. Equipped. Mm -hmm. equipped. Yes, it's equipped. equipped. I'm sorry. Equipped. Yes, that, that's amazing. Okay. Lastly, we are, we're missing 13 minutes to finish the class, but anyhow, we have the last group. Who were in the last group? It's just Steven. I lost it. And Luis Albert. Hold on. And Fernando. Okay, Steven Fernando. Fernando. Okay, all yours. Okay. I'm going to share my, my screen, teacher. <clears throat> Can you see? I see. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Sir. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we are going to tell you about this NOG, uh, call it Semilla Nueva. Semilla Nueva <clears throat> is an organization. Uh, our social business mission is to uh, develop better corn seeds to fight malnutrition, poverty, and climate, climate <clears throat> vulnerability. Use the market to get them to the farmer who need them the most. Make made this program scalable and sustainable by working with government. Beneficiaries. Semilla Nueva collects contact information from farmers who purchase the biofortified corn seed, enabling them to measure outreach, adoption, seed consumption, and market demand. This data, this data helps then assess impact and make informed decisions. To measure nutritional impact, Semilla Nueva surveys farmers to track consumption of their biofortified corn collaborates with laboratories to evaluate in nutritional content and works with INCAP to collect data in food consumption and nutrition from families. This allows the them to estimate the annual reduction in nutritional deficiency among their target populations. Okay, we can see this, this, this um, between 2018 and 2021. <clears throat> Farmers planting their corn seed, a nutrition percent of seed defi deficiency reduced. Uh, if we, we, we are talking about uh, the year 2018, it was uh, 62% and reduced in 2020 and, and, and increased, sorry, increase in sink in 2020, 67%. If we are talking about uh, nutrition, percent of Guatemala national seed gas closet uh, for 2018 was 0.39 percent and for 2020 is 1.7 uh, percent <clears throat> uh, go ahead Okay, about scaling, uh, Semilla Nueva started in Guatemala because 
Guatemala has the, the sixth highest rate of chronic malnutrition in the world. Corn makes up about half of the caloric intake in rural diets. 59.3% uh, of Guatemalans live below the national poverty line. And Guatemala ranks in the top five countries in the world most affected by natural, natural disasters and in the top 10 most vulnerable to cl climate change. And they, they are expanding internationally to other countries with corn-based diets, high malnutrition rates, and low use of improved seed. For example, Central America, El Salvador 2023, Honduras 2024, IT, and Southern Mexico to be defined in the date, and Sub-Saharan Africa. They are currently developing seed for East, Eastern and Southern Africa. And about barriers, uh, they depend the, the they depend of the nation. So some problems with the nation are financial sustainability, relying on the nation can hinder long-term funding stability, making it challenging to cover operational costs and expand with all a consisting income source, uh, donor dependency. Dependence on donors limit scalability as the companies grow with tied to donor availability and willingness to support, making it vulnerable to changes or reductions in funding and volatility risk, fluctuation in the economy, government, government policies, and donor priorities create financial uncertainty, making long-term planning difficult for the nation depending companies and scaling limitation. Lack of internally generated revenue constrain the company's ability to expand uh, geographically, increase production capacity, or diversify initiative with a steady income stream. So one solution for that problem is uh, why at first Semilla Nueva mainly focus on programs to give it away in 2018, using seats developed with the International Mason with Improvement Center, Semilla Nueva launched the world's first commercially competitive biofortified May seat in Guatemala. Semilla Nueva made the decision to enter into commercial seat because it will allow us to generate the fund to reach more people as well as become more financially sustainable. And their seeds and help us defray costs and reduce the need for the nation. So that's it, teacher. You know, on this topic, this this uh, social uh, company, social enterprise is a very clear example of everything that we have studied. Uh, but I mean, <laughs> they actually covered everything, right? Um, from funding to um, becoming competitive on the market, specific niche of market. If you were paying attention, guys, uh, even though I, I know, I mean, this was a whole lot of reading, but it included everything. Um, it's, and I, it made me think, you know, lately that even though I'm teaching you this, I mean, uh, I, I have become knowledgeable about these topics because of all the years that I have been teaching, right? But I always wonder what will happen if somebody tells me, someone tells me, you know, hey, you know what, uh, let's start a, an, an entrepreneurship. What would you recommend me? I wonder if my brain will be <laughs> capable of going through all this with someone in real life, you know, like, hey, you know what, we should get someone to give us funds, you know, some venture. Venture. Investors, <laughs> yes. <laughs> or donors. <laughs> some donors. Uh -huh. And then putting all things working together and then facing the market uh, challenges. It's very interesting, actually. And, and what they did with this seed. Wow. Well, wow. You know, I, I was amused like five years ago or more when I discovered, I mean, when I found out and understood that governments were using a different sort of seed, an improved seed, as the read, reading was saying, and they were giving this to farmers, 
this was back in 2010, actually, when I was at the university. We were debating, and excuse me if I offend anybody here, but we that's this is this truly happened. In a philosophy class, I started at 40 in affairs, remember? So there was a philosophy class and we were discussing why men become becomes gay, right? What has changed during the last 23 years or more? Why are men becoming or women becoming that way, right? And our group, our group, there were three topics on the table, but one of them was this. And we discovered, we, one of the groups said, you know what? We have been altering mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. So now you can grow food really quick with chemicals because the terrain is not pure anymore. So making something grow on a growing land is not the same as it was like 80 or 50 years ago. Everything is contaminated, you know. So all these chemicals go into your body and they change the DNA, you know. And nowadays, I believe that theory because the same thing is happening to our kids. They have been watching cell phones for so long that they just discovered that there's a malformation on the back of the brain of the exactly. uh, skull, you know, on their heads. So the 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 uh, we are evolving. That's the latest part of evolution of human beings. If you didn't know about this, uh, Doctor Marion, as you're looking at here, oh my God! Really, Doctor Marion, th there is a she is a psych psych. Psychiatric? 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 I, I forgot the person. Yeah, she's a psychiatrist, but she's a, a mm -hmm. person who started a lot. She, she was talking about this study that mm -hmm. now it's real. And there is a decrease of 20% of the muscle uh, because kids are using tablets or mobile phones from very, very, very early in. stages, very, very early stages. Yeah. She's not well, recommending. Also, one thing she is not recommending and she recommends a lot. You need to turn off, turn off the notifications or your mobile phone because your brain must know that or in your entire body must know that you are, you are the one handling and managing. Yeah. And you your body, phone. your body regenerates when you're sleeping. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Steve Jobs didn't give tablets to his kids. Did you know yeah. that? Exactly. No All devices. The billionaires, the billionaires, I guess they billionaires. Billionaires don't use no, technology. Okay. That's a it's a same. It's a I don't think. between them. Mm -hmm. I don't know that that's true. Okay. Anyways, really quick feedback. Steve, uh, 0 0.39, percent percent percent. Uh co corn based diets. Corn-based diets, corn-based diets, corn-based diets. Haiti, is that IT? Yeah, Haiti. Southern Mexico. I'm sorry, yeah, Southern or Southern, I can remember. Southern Mexico, Southern Mexico. Um, uncertainty, 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 uncertainty. And again, don't trust me, go to juglish.com and find out more pronunciation topics. That's it for tonight. Um, who was I with last time? I was with Ileana. I forced Ileana to stay because someone else didn't want to stay with me for 10 minutes. <laughs> but if you want, I can stay with you today. <laughs> sure. Let, let's okay. have a chat, a chip chat tonight for 10 minutes. Okay. Um, so good night to everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Thank you. Okay. And Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Bye. But I will stay here. <laughs> yeah. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Gracia Elizabeth Diaz Vasquez. And good night. Good night. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Just stay
Tonight, ok. José Wilfredo ahí a la sorto. Is there? Juan Miguel Bran Mejía, he connected for a few minutes and then he left. Luis Albert, Steve Bonilla Canales. Good night, teacher. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Good night. Night night. Hey guys, Good I'll time. see you tomorrow. Hey, hey. See you. I, I need I need your help with 3.5 homework in the platform. Don't worry about that. They're working on repairing that section because there is a glitch on the platform on that section. Yes, okay. I had the same the same problem. We we have the same problem. Oh we have okay. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Finally, I could sleep well. <laughs> Good night. Good, Good night. night. Bye bye. Bye. Ignore. I'm typing to my wife in English. I'm sorry. Because I'm saving. When I want to save something, I just send it to her WhatsApp. Is this like old school things? Yes, right? Um. <laughs> so instead of it saying. Be, it's it's, old, old school will be that you send up and you. I mean, it, no, because I have seen people, you know, like my age um, doing that. When I want to save something, I just send it to someone I know, you know, and that's it. <laughs> you feel free like writing? Or you are... Or it's because she's near to you, right? No, through WhatsApp. Oh, yeah, but you are sending her a mess. I, you are sending to her a message, but she's near to you. She's in the same house. Sometimes it happens, yeah. But no, no, right now she's vagating. <laughs> <laughs> vagating. Okay, got it. Uh, she's... I don't know what she's doing. I, she she went to something related to church, but then having fun. No, uh, she she went. She went. You just to, grew up. Are you coming? <laughs> no, she went to 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 uh, fill to pump fuel. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Fuel pump to pump pump some, pump some fuel. Yeah, she went to the gas station to pump some fuel. To fuel, to fuel the tank. Oh yes. <laughs> fuel the tank. I, I oh my god. Yeah. So, anyways, uh -huh. how are things going? Very well. Trying to do things better every day. <laughs> Not only here, learning also in my job. But everything mm. is good. It's okay. Give me a minute. What happened? I can see you. Mm. Okay. Sorry. No, no, no. There's just many things going on right now. And then. Fly? A mosquito? <laughs> no, no. I mean, I was just reading her text messages because she's coming literally. But after going to the gas station, another, a neighbor just stopped her. Asking her if she if he could um, bury it, if he could bury his uh, dog on the park of the neighborhood, because my wife and I are, are on the uh, neighborhood. Uh, how do you call that? The directiva. Oh my god! Uh -huh, I don't know. How to say. <laughs> she's on the financing part. You know, she's the accountant of the neighborhood, basically. Oh. So yeah. she's doing the finances, but but she's got decision, and and we decided not to let anybody bury animals anymore in the park, mm -hmm. mostly because they're doing it right next to a pile of the mango, ah, the mango tree. Okay. <laughs> and, and they and, didn't have the, they are not get used to remove or pick up what their dogs do. No, no, no. You you didn't get it. The dog passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. Buried. It's all he wants. Yeah, buried. Oh, uh -huh. my yeah. Like, yeah. Put him under the land, whatever. So, wow. And and he's she's right out of the house talking to his neighbor, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Things happen uh, all at the same time. So, um, man, what shall I do? Hmm? 
Remember models, uh, what should I do? I I just reached that part of my life where I don't want to work anymore in a call center. <laughs> what should I do, Anna Claudia, with my life? If you want to go back to work in a call center. No, I'm working in a call center, but uh -huh. not taking calls. So what would you recommend me? If you will, in a scenario that you are not on a call center, you want to go back. I'm telling you, well, this is real, but I want to hear you speaking. So what should I do? I, I'm tired of working in call centers, you know, and I need to make at least $2,500 a month. Mom. What should I do? What else you can do? <laughs> you need to ask <laughs> yourself what else you can do because... You will be a very good psychologist, you know. <laughs> what does no. your brain tell you to do? <laughs> no, I mean because you must be realistic that there's a reality around all of us. So if I... That's my reality. I need $2,500 a yeah, month. Yeah, exactly. But your other reality is that you're tired. But maybe it's because you're a multitasking person and you need some time to stop because it's not a good idea. has been demonstrated by science that being a multitasking, you are giving stress, additional stress. Hey, being a multitasking person. Uh -huh. Multitasking person. You are adding. Exposed to more stress. Uh -huh. Adding. Adding. Add adding. Adding, adding more, more stress. stress. Exactly. Okay. Not exposed. You are doing it personally you are doing it because in all these hormones oxytocin and stuff like that they i was hearing this doctor that i mentioned before that i told you the name mm -hmm. it has been demonstrated by uh studies and science that what happened is that when you try to uh, do or realize different tasks at the same time you are discoordinating your brain because your brain has been built in order to follow orders to, to do process one by one. So when you try to do multiple things at the time, nothing will work. And I, I read I read that we'll multi slow. multitasking is an illusion because one thing will be will get done good and the other is huh, not exactly. so good. There will be a mess. But what happened with women? No, what I my point is what I want to tell you is because uh, we are supposing you are on a call center and your brain is tired, <laughs> so maybe you need to pause because you're adding stress because you're also in the uh, management of your uh, country, or your country home, or I don't know how to name neighborhood. it neighborhood, neighborhood, mm -hmm. but also you have some task or. Uh, you're leading. You have no idea. Today was my today was my day off, and exactly. I had and I did the whole house cleanup. Mm -hmm. and I did all the home chores. You know, oh my god, <laughs> and, and I knew I had to teach today. But just making. What do I do? Give me a suggestion. What would you do now? This is the other way of giving suggestions. Okay. So first, I was expecting you to use should. You should. Okay. You should. Hey, now what would you do if you were me? And you needed to do $2,500 a month. First of all, I should do at least, you should do at least with the... If I were you, I would do If I do were at least. you, I, sh I would do at least with, and I was listing, I'm sorry, but I was, I will list uh, the, what is, uh, what activity is providing me incomes. Also, I will be adding what else I can do. And also, I will be adding in this list like uh, columns, uh, where uh, which activities are spending my uh, I'm spending spending energy and money, but they are not urgent. They are not necessary. Is because of something. So, uh, first things to do is identify where my finances come from, mm -hmm. if. I feel able to continue in that uh, activity. I will continue, but I will do it the best. But uh, resting stress or 
taking off, what I should do is taking off activities because as a person, you need to prioritize the time you sleep. So make a list. I, I, what I suggest for you is to make a list and also identify what is urgent, what is necessary, and what is just useless. Uh, useless, exactly. It's hard because it's when, the same when you have clothes that you are not wearing for the last three months. You hear people saying, you need to donate it, you need to do this, you need to do that. But when you do it, it's, no, I don't want because I know I'm going to lose these pounds in three months. <laughs> and that is the thing happen with our lives. We're saying things that we are or keeping doing activities that they are not. Uh, the area is less. They are not necessary. So yeah, I got you. Thank you. Must change your diet. Do it. What you eat, you do it. <laughs> Thank you very much for your advices. I will <laughs> definitely organize my life. And <laughs> you, you realize too many activities. That is you do, you do. You do. You do many activities. Activities. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much for staying with me. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.